Good morning, guys. It is, what is it? March 28th, and it's 8.15 in the morning. Um, I'm on supposedly spring break. Woke up about an hour ago. I've just been laying here. My boyfriend has um, class and then work, so I'm going to be by myself today. Woke up and made him breakfast. And, yeah, so I'm just here laying down. It's 8.13 a.m. Literally, listen to this. So, what did I say? It's March 28th, right? March 28th, and it's going to snow at 11. Please, I know I, I know I live in Buffalo, but damn. Come on now. It's ridiculous. So, yeah. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Um... Today I'm going to go downstairs and make a scrambled egg. Just one scrambled egg. Because I really want chicken fries from Burger King. I don't know if you, where you guys are from, but we have chicken fries are back for good. I love those things. So, And I'm right across the street from Burger King. So I'll just grab that. But I'm also going to um, head to Target. There's a couple of things I actually need. Like I need um, some shampoos and some hairsprays and stuff like that. And maybe I'll get some pieces of clothing. I don't know yet. Because from now on, I'm going to watch how much I spend. Because literally in the past, since January, so January, February, March, January, February, so almost like two or three months, I've gotten way too many designer purses. And I've decided that for my 21st birthday, I really, 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 like really want a speedy bag by Louis Vuitton. Um, that'll be my treat to myself, but after I purchase that bag, that will be it, and there will be no more. That being said, a couple of the bags I bought, I don't even wear, so I have a Poshmark account, and I'm going to probably put them on there and see what I can get for them. Um, uh, this Kate Spade bag I actually bought, I've worn it three times, and I don't know why, it's really cute, I just don't, like, I look like, I just woke up, guys, so, it's right here. Just a black pebbled leather. It's got the Kate Spade here. You can actually take off the um, straps right here. And it comes with a pretty long, you can make it crossbody or you can just put it down to your side. But I just don't wear it. I just really do not wear it at all. So I'll put that up there. And then my Michael Kors, um, just the Jet Set tote. I don't really wear that one anymore. I'm not sure why. Wait, maybe I do. I believe that I don't like silver hardware. I believe that's what the problem is. I like gold hardware. Because every bag that's got the gold hardware, I wear besides the Kate Spade one. Maybe I don't wear the Kate Spade one because... I don't know. Because I like my other ones a little bit more. But yeah, I think I'm going to buy the Speedy 25 or the 30. If you guys have any, leave them down below. Like, which one you like better. I'm not sure... So I know it's a top handle bag and they get kind of heavy, but I'm not going to buy the bandolier because that's way too expensive just for a strap. Plus, I have the Michael Kors Grace and Satchel. That one comes with the strap. So if I ever want to wear that type of bag and I'm, like, going grocery shopping or something, I can always wear my Michael Kors Grace and Satchel because it comes with a strap like that. So, yeah. And then, like, my Longchamp, my natural colored one, that one, too, I don't really wear, but that's because I haven't really been to school with it. I've just went to work with them where I work there's lots of chemicals and stuff and I'm just afraid of getting it dirty so yeah um, if you guys want to check out those bags they're gonna be for pretty cheap I got my Kate Spade bag my Kate Spade bag was $2.98 or $3.98 I'm only gonna sell it for $1.50 so yeah and dust bags will be included if they came with one but yeah I'm gonna go downstairs um I'm not really gonna do my makeup I'm just gonna put on some BB cream and mascara do my eyebrows, and then I think I'm going to head out the door before it gets really bad. It's supposed to be raining at 10 o'clock, and then snowing at 11, and the boyfriend has the car, so I'm going to be taking the bus. But, that's okay, and then I'm going to try to get some lunch if I don't feel like crossing the street in the rain. But yeah, and then I'll show you guys what I got, and I'm probably going to clean up the room, like just dust it, and I really, like, this is really weird, but I really want to go into work today, so maybe I'll go in for four hours. Not sure yet, but if I don't, I'll go in for 12 hours tomorrow. Gotta love working on spring break, huh? Gotta make that money for that speedy bag. Pretty sure that's what I want. I was going to decide between that one or the Neverfull. I'm going to go with the classic speedy, though. Pretty sure. 
It's going to be a 21st birthday gift to myself. Because I will never ask anyone. Anyone for that in my life. Not even my parents, not my boyfriend. He doesn't even know. I just told him yesterday that I was saving up for something. He's like, for what, another bag? And I'm like, I'm not going to tell you. And he wants me to tell him, but I'm not going to tell him because I don't want him thinking about getting it because something like that I want to give myself because then I will be proud of it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to... Whew, excuse me. I'm going to go downstairs. Well, I'm going to wash up, go downstairs, make my egg, and then I'm going to just probably throw some sweats on. And rain boots and the raincoat, and then yeah, I'll be on my way to Target. Okay, see you soon. So, this is random, but I don't know how you guys make your eggs, but I always have to melt butter in my pan. I like a lot of butter because I like the taste of butter. I know it's not that good for you, but yeah. And I love when my butter, when my butter starts to bubble up like this. When it bubbles up a little bit more on the other side, I'll throw my egg in. I'm going to probably make two eggs because I'm not going to have lunch till like 12 or 1. So, here it goes. I'm Hispanic, so I always have to put adobo on like everything I make. I have a big one in the back, but we're going to use the little one. It's a Hispanic seasoning. So good. Oh, 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 yeah. my opposite hands. This is kind of tough. I just let it sit there for a little bit so it cooks through. Because I hate when there's like little white splotches. Like the watery splotches like this in my stuff. Here's my breakfast. I love these like soft little rolls. They're not big. And then I have iced tea but I love my frozen. You guys know that. So I'm going to eat this up. See what time the bus comes on my app. And then I'm going to head to Target. Alright guys, so I'm done getting ready. Um, I really, there's, I don't really feel like there's a big difference when I wear makeup to when I don't wear makeup. This is me, I just have on some BB cream and mascara and I just fold in my brows a very little bit. But yeah, hair's in a bun because I just don't feel like doing it. That's the thing about curly hair though, is you can put it in a bun and it looks, it still looks good, you know what I mean? So outfit of the day, outfit of the day, my ass. Earrings Francesca's, I just love how big that they are. Eh. And then just this shirt I got from Jammin' in the Valley. I've got some yoga pants on. They're the cheetah print in the back. Then for my shoes, I'm just going to wear my... Uh, I think I'm just going to put on my cheap bear paws. And then my bag, I'm just going to be carrying... Where are you? This guy, Longchamp the Large. i got to take a couple things out of it. But this thing is like an endless pit. Like there's so much shit in here. I like using that when I go shopping though because I can just toss my bags in there. Especially because I'm taking the bus and it's going to be raining. Um, that'll come in handy. But I'm talking fast because i got to get go and put my jacket on and head outside. Uh, has it started raining yet? No, it has not started raining yet. But I haven't even made my bed and stuff. But I have to do when I come home because I'm going to dust it and stuff. So yeah, I will talk to you guys when I'm on the bus or when I'm at Swagget. Peace out! So it's sprinkling a little bit, not too bad. Also wearing my North Face from my parents. Got for Christmas. I'm putting the phone away that I don't want it to get damaged in the rain. And I hate putting hoodies on. Like, I don't know if I'm the only girl that hates it, but I absolutely hate it more than anything. So, as soon as I walked outside, the bus was right there. So I'm pretty good at getting this timing down. But I'm just walking to Target right now. It took about 10 minutes to get um, from my house to the bus stop I had to get off at to go to Target. And I'm just walking through the um, plaza. Then I'll be at Target, so I'm kind of excited. It's starting to rain a little bit more now. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in Target. So, yeah, as soon as I put my phone away, it started pouring. Like, pouring bad. I'm freaking out. Or that's because of the new lotion I'm using. But yeah. So there's this Juicy Couture perfume I really want. My friend Lauren had it and I smelled it on her and I freaking loved it. I just sprayed it and smelled it now. Like how cute is that bottle? I love it. Not that bad for a 38 ounce. Yeah, 38 ounce. It's for a wait, one ounce. It's 38.99. And then for, 20, for the five, for half of it, it's 24. So you might as well get the bigger one. But we'll see if I want to get that. 
I'm gonna wait to ask for it for maybe my birthday or something. It's one of my favorite brands. I'm gonna pick this guy up. I do this once a week for my hair. I love it. I love it. I love it. The original is good too, but this one I have curly hair and curly hair is dry, so I like that one. This is the hairspray. I like right here. Flexible hold, like for when I have my hair straight in, because I don't really put um, hairspray in my hair at all. I know this one's stronger, but I'm not a fan. And this smells really good too. So this is really bad, but I use Mane and Tail um, shampoo and conditioner for my hair. And I have a whole bottle of shampoo and like half a conditioner because I use conditioner more and I also co-wash. So I was here yesterday and I, the bottle I picked up today was broken and I'm like, hold on. Yesterday I hid, hid it in the store and I found it. I found it. It's right where I left it at. But the same employees don't clean because it was right on a shelf near the crock pot. So, yeah. Alright, after today I'm going to strict no buy for makeup. I'm going to try to hit pan. The only thing I'll change is my foundations if like, um summertime I'll get darker but yeah in the makeup section now and I um, actually had a bunch of makeup I cleaned out the other day that I meant to give to my mom when I went over there on Saturday but I forgot so I have to wait till she comes here and then I have to give it to her but anyways this foundation sucks it sucks I hate it more than anything it's like putting chalk on my face pretty much and it moisturized pretty well too, but it didn't work at all, and I hated it more than anything, anything in the world, actually. Like, it felt like I had a mask on. That's how bad it was. And my target, I want a certain lip liner from NYX, but literally, that's how my NYX shelf always looks when I come here. It's pretty annoying, because it's always, always, always like this. Always. And it's really weird that no makeup's catching my eye, but I did pick up, I'm going to pick up just two lip glosses, just a pink one. And one it's called natural, the other one's Pinkissimo Revlon. I'm gonna pick them up. They're like six eighty nine each just because I don't have I have two lip um lip glasses from MAC. So I'm gonna pick these up just because they'll be more I can throw in one of my bags. So yeah. But no makeup's interesting me, which is really strange because usually I buy and nothing here is catching my eye. I think it's because I have enough. And I bought this mascara once, and I'm never gonna get it again. I haven't had it to my mom. I hate this. It's, mm, no, I don't think so. I really want to get the um, L'Oreal True Match foundation. I have it, and um, W3, but it's kind of dark, so I want to get maybe two because they have one here. But I'm not gonna use it. I'll probably go to my local Walgreens. Probably have it buy one, get one half off, and I'll just pick up something else. I don't know what else, but something else. Nothing is catching my eye. It's kind of aggravating. Part of me wants to pick up an eyelash curler, but then like, I don't feel like I need to curl my lashes, but maybe I'll just get it just in case. I did have an elf one, but it literally left like a really horrible like cramp, like they'd be straight and then it would go up. I did not like that at all. Get what you pay for with some things, right? Oh my gosh, she's great. Maybe I'll try the Maybelline Line Stiletto because I have my um, Stilo. Eyeliner, I only wear on special occasions because it's $20 for an eyeliner. I think this is like 6 bucks, so we'll see if I like it out. If I like it out, if I like it. Yeah, I'll pick it up. Why not? Ooh, it might be a pen. I never use one of those. I always use the felt tip ones. Oh, shit. Oh, gotta learn, right? Gotta learn. I feel so special. I gotta help a little old lady pick out a mascara. Of course, I recommend it. My favorite. Since oh nine, I've been wearing that baby. And I've tried like high end makeup to see if it would be different, but nope. We have on one coat, but I love them. And now my Target carries what is this? Wet and Wild and NYC. What? No, bro. Thought that would never happen. Wow. That's awesome. I'm like completely in shock right now. Just in shock. Then they have it right next to Elf. So all the affordable stuff's like on this side. So I'm trying to pick up. I know I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, but a lipstick to put in my bag. And I'm not sure which one to get. One's called Cupcake Twist. And that one's like watermelon. This one's a little bit darker, and this one's more pink. Just like for work, though. I'm not sure. I'll walk around and decide on the yet. Sorry. 
kind of want to try this mascara because I already have my holy grail. It's got argan oil though, so it makes me kind of want to try it. No, I can't do that. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can always keep one in my makeup bag in my purse. No, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Just gonna grab an elf. Um, what's that called? Sharpener. It's one dollar, but I don't really use them that much. So I'll keep one in my makeup bag and the one at home. I hate these. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. I bought a pink one thinking I was gonna- actually I bought like five because I saw reviews and I'm like, that's awesome. Try one they like fucking chalk. Chalk. So I'm gonna give that one to my mom. Like chalk. This is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I'm gonna grab this because it's a highlighter and bronzer. And people say it's like the Bobbi Brown whatever it is. Packaging's really hard it seems like, but I'm gonna grab this. It's ten dollars so I hope it's good and I actually use it. Just gonna do it. Just gonna do it because after this I'm not buying anything else until after my birthday. <sighs> I really hate the sound of babies crying. Like it just breaks my heart. I don't know why. Oh, I feel so bad. I never feel guilty buying myself like bags and stuff or clothes but like whenever it's little things like this like I just feel really guilty and I don't know why I, I don't know why I don't know oh, such a baby Pepsi's such a baby so I just got out of Target and it's like snowing it's April at the end of March and it's ridiculous but yeah like my new glasses got them like three days ago but I'm gonna put the phone away because it's snowing and I'll talk to you guys soon bye <coughs> excuse me so I'm back at my house um I ate my chicken fries over at Burger King the reason I didn't film like I, I don't know why would you want some eating, but I didn't film because my boyfriend called me. He was driving to work, and it, the weather's really bad outside, actually. It's, like, raining and snowing together, but now it's, like, really, really, really wet snow that, like, sticks to the ground. And then I ate there because I didn't want to walk across the street and have my bag get all saggy and stuff. So I sat there. It was really good, and then I did some chores downstairs, and I just came up here and made the bed. I still have to dust and organize and stuff, but I just want to show you guys what I got from Target. I did put a couple things back. I don't remember what I showed, but yeah. Oh, and also another thing too. I went to Walmart to get some, well, I had a very important appointment yesterday and thank goodness I'm healthy and stuff and everything's okay for now, but um, I have a big chest. I'm a 38 double D in bras and I just have to take care of them more as in that sounds bad. But, like, I'm always wearing sports bras because I'm really self-conscious about my boobs. Like, I used to get teased a lot when I was younger. And if you guys want, I can do a whole video on that um, and how I dealt with that and how it affects me now. If you guys are in the same situation. But I don't like Target bras because they have no padding in them, like sports bras. So I have one on now that I got from Walmart. It's, like, a navy with the orange. But here's one right here. And it was only $11, guys, but I like it. It makes my cleavage look really nice, and it's like a front strap, and it's like a sports bra. I had to get new ones because my other ones were way too small, and I am... And it's kind of bad to have your chest, you know, squeezed down, and I just did it because I was embarrassed. But anyways, um, so I'm going to show you guys what I got at Target. That long shot bag was humongous. I was able to fit this entire bag in that bag, and this one in there as well. These are shoes. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. We'll start off with, like... The shoes I got. I wasn't going to get shoes. I didn't go in, plan, go in there planning to get shoes. But I ended up getting them because they were buy one get one half off. So, first pair I got. Usually I'm a size um, 6, maybe 7. But in Target sandals, I'm a size 8. But I got these guys. Marona. They're just like dark brown braided um, thong sandals. I've got really wide feet. But these look good on me. I really like these. And I love the smell of new, like, sandals. As weird as that sounds. So I'm going to put these upstairs until it's time. I can break them out. But I think they're really cute. They'll dress up. You can wear them to dress up or down. So, got those. And they were... I don't know how much they were. I think these, I think these were $22. Pretty sure. But they, then again, they were buy one, get one half off. So, I got these ones. The brand Morona. 
And then I also got this pair. What brand is this? Mosimo? Mosimo. Style Avery, size 8, and these are black. And gold. Look at... Oh, damn it, there's a little mark on the um, inside, but who cares? This is like the best pair I was able to find. But look at this. How pretty are, are these? Beautiful. They have another pair I wanted to get. They're teal, like a teal color with the gold. Beautiful, but I don't really wear that much teal, so I like wearing like browns, blacks, and like creams because I know that they will go with any outfit I wear. And the gold literally adds anything to any outfit. So, yeah, I got those. I'll put those away. I think these were $29, but I got both for like $40, so whatever that is, that was good. And I just got some essentials. No, I actually really, really needed some of this stuff. And like, I feel like I got a money, my money's worth today because usually I just like, um, I buy stuff from Target. If you guys go to Target or Walmart, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You go in there for a couple things and you come out with so much more. But like, um, I go in there and I spend so much money. I'm like, what did I even buy? But today I'm like, you know what? I got my money's worth. I spent a total of $113. So if I would have like brought the red card, I probably would have saved more and then just paid it off. But I totally forgot to bring the red card. That's like where you save 5%. But yeah, I got saved that much. First item I got was so when I for when I go running. It's just a champion um, workout like jacket. It's duo dry. And I got it in a large because I don't like things too tight to my body, especially when I'm running. I don't like want my boobs to be tight and then seeing them like jiggle up and down if you know what I mean. So I got it in a large size. It's really loose, but I do like it because I can also wear it to school with um, sweats or jeans and some sandals or my sneakers and just call it a lazy day. This was $22.99 and I really like it. It was very comfortable as well. Just black. Nothing. And I wasn't planning on getting that either. This was stuff that I knew and they're kind of knowing I wanted to get. So I got my 3 Minute Miracle Moist. I love this stuff. It's a deep conditioner. If you guys want reviews on any of this or anything at all, just let me know them. I really need video requests and I don't know I don't have that many subscribers, but I would like to do things like this. So, we've got that. That was like $3 or $3.39. Then the hairspray I was telling you about. It's not that strong, but I don't put hairspray in my hair as it is. I don't even use a brush to comb my hair. The only time I use a brush is when I need to detangle it to straighten it. And yeah, so it's the flexible hold and it smells so good. It doesn't flake up on you like other hairsprays. And it's a good amount. So this will probably last me for about two years. It's 14 ounces. 14 ounces. And this is the conditioner I use and the shampoo too. But I actually needed the, um, what was it? The conditioner more than the shampoo. Yeah, because I co-wash. So like I'll wash my hair and then the next day I'll use conditioner only in my hair because it's so dry. And the shampoo can make your hair really dry. I only got one because over where my mom lives, my dad lives, the they always have it at like a Riot or a Walgreens. Buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off. And it's like eight bucks for 32 ounces here. But that's not too bad. But um, I know my mom has some for me, so I'm just saving this. Well, saving. I'm not getting any more because so, she has that for me. And then I got some dry shampoo. The Dove Volume Dry Shampoo. I've got the Suave. I had to throw it out. Yeah, no, I didn't. It's right here. This one it smells like old lady perfume, and I hate it. I used it up, though. I did use it up. It's like a little bit in here, but I can toss it now. It smells like an old lady. No offense. And then what else did I get? There are technically essentials. Eh. And I got a couple of makeup items. So after today, I'm on a no makeup buy. Like I said, the only thing I'm going to get are, like, foundations if I get, obviously, when I get darker and stuff. So, yeah. And then, so, what did I get? I got the e.l.f. Um, sharpeners, just in case if I ever need to sharpen, like, I don't know, makeup pencil, even a regular pencil. I don't know. And I got the Maybelline St Line Stiletto Eyeliner. I hope this isn't, like, a pen. I'm going to open it up right now, like, a pen, because I've never used one of those. I've only ever used the ones that are, like, a pen that you put on your eye. So, let's see. Oh, it is one of those. Shit. It's one of these. Oh. The line's pretty thick with this, and I like my thing pretty. But if I don't, if I don't like something, I can always give it to my mom. 
she'll use it. My mom loves stuff. But she doesn't buy anything for herself, so I always give her things and just... Yeah. So there's this I got. And blackest black. Flexible tip glides on smoothly for the most precise control. All day wear up to $8. Ophthalmologist tested. Safe for sensitive eyes. Contact lens safe. Application tip. Start at the inner corner of the lid and line along the lash line following the contour of your eye. For added drum, apply slightly heavier at the outer corners. A.K.A. a wing. You got that. I picked up the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips for a glamorous tan glow. Get the glow you've been missing. Highlight skin with five luminous bands of amber, gold, and bronze like a burst of sunshine. Perfect for adding sheer sun-kissed highlights to your face. Five shimmering shades blend together for the ultimate tan glow. Soup on cheeks for a blush for a soft, luminous finish. Or use each shade alone as an eyeshadow. Directions is bronzer blush eyeshadow huh it's like that I'm gonna open it this, is, this vlog type thing is gonna be long but whatever wow the packaging is really tight and whoa it's in the Vegas strip light bronzer I like this packaging a lot actually and if I can open it to like it even more I always smell makeup. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. I mean, I wouldn't know if I would wear it as bronzer because that's like pa pam, pa pam, pa pam in your face. Can you see that? It's like really a nice highlight. Or even his eyeshadow. I just got this because someone was talking about it on YouTube. You know what? One of the girls, it's Casey Holmes or Amanda or one of them, but they compared this to the Bobby Brown, the Bobby Brown one. The Bobby Brown one's really expensive, so why not just have this one? Wow, this is pretty. Don't know why I'm gonna wear this, but damn, it's nice. And the last two things they picked up were my two favorite gums, and one's fruity and one's minty, just because um, I just have two options in my bag, so that way if someone asks me for gum, like, do you want fruity or do you want like a mint, and they tell me, and then I can just pull it out, and it's just for me too. So. I got this kind, Juicy Fruit. I love Juicy Fruit. I used to have it all the time when I was a kid, and I think that's why I like it so much, but it loses flavor so quickly, but I still love it. Then the extra long-lasting flavor in the Polar Ice. Love this. Love, love, love it. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't the last thing. Shit. Oops. I swore a lot. I should probably stop. Let me know if that bothers you. Last thing I got were two lip glosses, as you guys saw. I got these because um, I want to have stuff like for work or, I mean, at school I bring my Mac stuff. But basically if I'm on the go or something, I, if I lose a lip gloss, I'll probably be really pissed off because I paid $16 for that. And these were only 6 So, I mean, I don't feel as bad. And these claim to be not sticky, so we're going to see. This is in the color Pink Isimo. I hate when these sticky things get... Ooh, it came off pretty, the way they talked to us in, pretty nicely. Yep, so we'll see this color. It's a really pretty light baby pink gloss. Then this one's just called natural. Supernatural. Soup, you can't be natural. You gotta be supernatural, girl. And then I like how it's got the gold on there. So, yeah. It's like a really pretty nude color. It's probably look good over a matte nude lipstick. I'm just going to try it on just to see um, if they're sticky or not. Because the ad said they weren't sticky. No, not. Look, I don't know if you can tell, but not sticky at all. 
my stuff, my coat and stuff's just thrown there with my PJs, but... Also, I need a good lip exfoliator. Let me know. Because I have very dry lips, and no matter what I do, like, even if I wear chapstick, you can still, like, see the chapped lips. But actually, this color is really pretty. I like this. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry this is so long it's probably really annoying so yeah um let me know if you guys want any reviews on anything please let me know about what's that called and anything you want me to videos you want me to do uh, let me know about the speedy bag i'm really really considering getting it for my 21st birthday i'm also gonna leave down my poshmark link in case poshmark um username if you guys want to see those bags i'm gonna be posting them as soon as i upload this video and then um yeah if you guys want to get them or make an offer on them you guys can just go ahead i used the michael kors one for two weeks and i used my case spade one two maybe three times and then my i'll probably put up my um longchamp le pliage in the medium just because it's so light i'm afraid to use it but yeah i'll see what i get on that one i might keep that one i don't know because i think it'd be a good like summer bag because it's just that basic color and I don't want to carry my speedy if it's raining outside long chunks were good because it was snowing and I was able to keep like my bag but you know what let me know if you guys want to see what's in my bag for the long shop large because that thing I have so much stuff in it and it keeps holding and holding and holding but yeah guys have a great night day evening afternoon wherever you are and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> I suck Peace out.